Season of Discovery has only been out for less than two days, and we've already seen our first round of mega massive nerfs go out for some of the classes that were a little bit overtuned. I even say a little bit overtuned, but hunters were realistically quite significantly overtuned. So today I'm going to tell you about those nerfs, how hunters are kind of feeling still, and how they're going to be performing, and then I'm going to break down what all of the runes I know how to get are for hunter. I have almost every single rune, and I will do a full guide of that soon with like a lot better editing. I'm trying to do this really fast and kind of while well, I'm just standing here by myself because I haven't slept yet. So first of all, this is one crit from an explosive shot. This is literally one crit from explosive shot in the race world first. 188 damage. So one explosive shot just hit for 94, 188, and also another 94. Instead, now after the nerfs, explosive shot now hits for about 15 and it crits for about 30 damage. So going from 188 per crit to 30 damage per crit. That is how significant the nerf to explosive shots damage was. Now the big thing for explosive shot was that it was very, very strong because it was also extremely mana efficient. It only cost about 25 mana to cast it's every six seconds. Now you have to run Chimera Shot, which was also nerfed if you are a hunter. And the other change to Explosive Shot is now this is an AoE ability. So it also hits all targets within eight yards. This gives hunters a ranged AoE ability, which actually feels pretty good. It is a huge nerf to their Explosive Shot and single target damage, but it still feels pretty good. Chimera Shot was also nerfed where it used to be 125% weapon damage and then refreshes the current sting. Now, instead of 125% weapon damage, it hits for 85% of your weapon damage. So Chimera Shot also saw quite a large nerf today. We also saw nerfs to mage healing, and let me go and see if I can find that. First of all, also Blizzard announced that you can't get a lot of the items that shouldn't be available for you at level 25 if you're tryharding super hard and you want to farm Tidal Charm or AGM. Those are not available in the game or high level quest or chest. If you were to go to like a crazy zone and just farm chests all day, uh, you won't be able to do that. Those are not in the game. And I also confirmed through my own play. I like that there was a guy right there. Hopefully he doesn't kill me. I also confirmed through going to RFK a bunch, bunch of times to try to get this pre-best in slot weapon for hunters. It is not dropping. We have killed these mobs so many times. It is not dropping, although RFK is still the best place to farm other items for hunters. Past that, balance came in. So hunters saw a huge, huge, huge actually redesign and is a dr damage dramatically decreased for explosive shot and chimera shot also had its damage nerfed hunters are doing fine still but they did see this big nerf as well as mage healing mage's healing output for aoe healing was reduced by 80 percent so mages and hunters nerfed massively, but hunters are still performing very well, actually. This gives you a nice alternative for trash damage. This is really nice to actually have uh, explosive shot throughout dungeons, and you won't use it while leveling anymore. Now the runes you will use is Chimera Shot, Sniper Training, and Master Marksman. But let's talk about how to find all of these runes, at least the runes that I know where to get, and hopefully I don't die in the meantime. The first two you get are Chimera Shot and, and Explosive Shot. If you are an Orc, both of these are given to you from the Orc Starting Zone. If I can go here, Duratar, and you go into the Valley of Trials, these are the ones you get really fast. So one of these will drop for everyone in, in your starting, or both of these will drop in your starting zone if you're a Hunter. So you can get the Scorpions in the Orc Starting Zone will drop the... Um, Chimera Shot, and then Explosive Shot will drop off whatever name mob is in your starting zone. For Orcs, that's Sarkoth. It's a Scorpion that's a named Scorpion. So in all of your starting zones, wherever you have the level three mobs or the second level up of enemies, that will drop your Chimera Shot, and then whatever the named mob, which is usually like a level five that was camped like crazy, will drop Explosive Shot. Now, Flanking Strike is the next one you can get. In whatever zone you are in, if you get a mob that drops something like Enduratar, it's called Duratar Meat. 
like a Duratar boar meat and it drops off of boars in Duratar and it'll say you need to give this to summon a tiger. Well, for, for Duratar, you drop it down here. You have to take kind of context clues and these things will all be wow updated soon. And when I have every single one, I'll get footage of all of them. But you drop it down here and it summons a tiger that you have to kill. Now, this tiger can be ninja from you or other hunters can group up with you and you can all get the rune at the same time. But you summon it and someone else could tag it and you lose out and you have to go farm another or a ton of boars to get the meat again. But if you do that, that gives you flanking strike. Let's see, what was the next one on the list? The next one we got was Master Marksman. Master Marksman, let's get that. Master Marksman is the next one we got. And in your starting zone, it will be similar, but I'm just gonna show you for Horde. Master Marksman, you will find a bush, a literal green bush, and it, it's very obvious. This bush is targetable and it's not like normally there. It is right here on the map. And once you target it, then just cast Hunter's Mark on it and then it will summon a mob that you kill and it will drop Master Marksman. Sniper training, we're going down the list. Sorry, I'm trying to make this fast. Sniper training for Horde and Alliance. So for Horde and actually Alliance could do this too you would go to Ratchet. In Ratchet, right at the beginning of, of the docks, there is, like at the beginning of the literal dock, where the boat comes, there is a mob on the right, a goblin that you can talk to, a fisherman goblin that will sell you a harpoon. Then you jump into the water right in front of the dock and there is going to be an elite shark. Use the harpoon on it, it goes from being elite to normal, but it still hits super duper hard. So you need your pet to tank this or else it will actually kill you. You can't 1v1 it very easily in the water there. Boom. Oh, I didn't say where it was for Horde, but if you're a Horde uh, around or Alliance, if you're around here, you'll find like those Threshers either in the water or, or as corpses along the the shoreline they will have a harpoon in them and then you go like up here and you find a thresher in the water that's an elite and you kill it and that's where it drops it boom uh let's go down the next one i got in that order was carve why can't i remember where i got carve <laughs> let's see does wowhead have have carved so i can remember this really fast do 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 carve all right Wowhead's carve rune is, we have, luckily we have, I also found lone wolf. So we have aspect of the lion, lone wolf and kill command from here. So give me one second. Um, where's the carve location? Carve, 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 reveal this location. Um, oh, perfect. Yes. All right. You will, you will get something in your zone, like a prairie dog musk or a deer musk or an adder pheromone. And what you do is once you're level 10 and you can tame, uh, beasts, you will use it on yourself. You'll get a 10 minute buff that lets you train those. And then in Duratar, I'm just, it's the best example for me right now is I would run and find an adder, like a literal, it's, it's the actual critters. You, you tame it then with your tame beast spell. It'll be an instant. It'll tame it. And then you run back to the town and there will be someone that's like a snake charmer or a deer peddler or something. Right. And you talk to them, they give you carve. Okay. Carve easy clap. Um, what's this close shot? Yep. Chimera shot. Yep. Beast mastery. Okay. The beast mastery rune. So for this in horde, there's a couple ways you can do this. There's a patrolling cheetah in the Barrens outside of Camp Tarajo, and he can only be slowed. So if you freeze him with a freezing trap, then it's right over here. If you freeze him with a freezing trap, then he will become hostile and you can actually defeat him. There's another way is if you're in Silver Pine Forest as Horde, you can kill a ton of grizzled bears and eventually a level 16 elite will spawn called a Grizzled Protector. So if you just kill bears in Silver Pine Forest, then you, you will get a, a Protector. And as Alliance, you get the Gortusk Haunch from Gortusk, and then uh, you go to the Coyote Dwelling and you spawn Silver Spur. And let me see if I can see where that is. No, I can't. All right. Well, whatever, you go You go do that. I'm not Alliance, so I can't really tell you. Blinking Strike, I already told you how to do. Serpent Spread is not found. Sniper Training is found, and I told you how to do that also. Um, it's, it's yeah, you use the Harpoons. So you use the Harpoons, or you can kill Elite Crocolis in Lock Modan. Didn't even know that. 
Kill command. Um, I don't even know. I don't. All right, that that's one we're gonna do. Lone wolf we'll do right now. Master marksman told you how to do. Oh, aspect of the line. All right, cool. We'll do kill command and aspect of the line. Those are the last ones, right? Kill command. As horde and I think maybe alliance, you need to kill the last boss in the Wailing Caverns. It is the the guy that after you do the escort quests in Wailing Caverns. Mutinous the Devourer. He will also drop an item for you that you're like, what do I do with this? Well, what you do with it for Horde, and I'm not 100% sure for Alliance, for Horde, first you head into Ashenvale, and then there are, there are Fulborg monsters here, and the, like, literal Fulbogs, Fulbogs, whatever. There are ones down here called Totemex. You just kill them until you have a drop, a unique drop from them. The drop will say, combine me with a greater magic wand. Yes, a greater magic wand from the auction house or from Alchemist. Get that, combine them, and then head over into Stone Talon. In the Stone Talon zone, you can then uh, get a quest that sends you right here to a goblin right here, which will teach you how to train wyverns. So you can now train wyverns. Also, you turn it all in and he will train the wyvern. And after his little RP, he will give you kill command. What did we miss? Did we do beast mastery? Maybe we did beast mastery. I think we did beast mastery. Boy. Oh yeah, all right, perfect. I'm so sorry, guys. It's It's so late. All right, we did Beast Mastery. The last one is going to be then Aspect of the Lion. Perfect example. Uh, head right here into the wetlands. Go into this cave right here. In the back of this cave is going to be an owl. Kill that owl. And like just go all the way down and keep going down. And kill the owl and it will give you Aspect of the Lion. And that is all of them except for the one that was recently found. Lone Wolf Rune was found, and this is found from Grisby, a mob in Ratchet. In the inn in Ratchet, this guy will say either you're too poor to talk to him if you don't have at least five gold, or he will get he will do an RP that will send you on three quests. And those quests are to be to get fish oil, to kill dark iron dwarves, and to do the end of uh do the dead mines to get a schematic which will then send you around to kill Shredders. So you need all of those before you unlock this, which will then give you Warbringer, Main Goosh, Lone Wolf, Sacrifice, Survival of the Fittest for Druid Tanks, uh, Rune of the Pact, and Dual Wield Specialization. That is the last one that was just found, guys. That is the the big one. Um, so yeah, that's, that's everything for Hunters. Those are all of it. And uh, that's pretty much everything I can give you right now. I can also tell you how to get your best pets in the game and and how that all works but i want to go to bed i'm just being honest with you guys i'm so sorry i it was it's been another 20 hours straight after two hours of sleep so i love you all thanks for watching and i will see you all on the next one